lot of towns, thousands of towns started around the mill. This mill is still here. The town is still here. My name's Mike Rowe. My wife and I uh, bought this old mill 25 years ago. We bought it from a little old lady. She was 82. It was in her family for over 50 years. I saw this place back in the late 70s, the first time we saw it. It was in pretty bad shape and hadn't been water powered since 51. So the dam, the mill pond, everything was pretty much tore up and, and bad, bad shape. But I recognized what it could be. And by this time, I had quit my job. That uh, white shirt and tie was choking me. So um, I started building furniture in my garage, and that turned into a fairly nice little business. I was dreaming of a water-powered wood shop. And I thought, whoa, water-powered. Line shaft going through here, flat belts coming down, running the equipment. Wow, wouldn't that be really cool? I saw this place for sale in 1994. I stopped by and the door was open, which was very unusual. I asked them, how much are you looking for? And they said, uh, 240000 I said, I'll take it. But we didn't have enough money. And she says, what are we going to do? And I said, you give me half the down payment, and we'll buy it. And I promise you, save it, restore it, and carry on. And she said, Michael, I want you to have the mill because I know you're going to do good. So I went home. My wife said, how'd you do? And I said, well, those two ladies at that little store bought almost everything I had in the truck. She says, that's wonderful. And I said, on the way home, I spent a quarter of a million dollars. She said, what the heck have you been doing now? Once they gave us the keys, after they taught me how to do all the milling, the maintenance, their grandfather's recipes, and the proper order of the mixing, and they made me start, run, stop, start, run, stop until I proved I could do it, uh, they said, you're going to be a pretty good miller, handed me the keys, and out the door they went. Now I make, uh, I make flour dust instead of sawdust that I have for 25 years. Two millwrights follow the creek looking for power. They looked and found this spot as the best spot to get water power, and they got a 200-acre land grant, and the President Monroe signed the deed October the 12th, 1818. On the creek bank on the other side over there, they had a big flat sandstone rock, and they started cracking corn. Now, Jimmy cracks corn, I don't care. See, Jimmy's making whiskey. That's why nobody cares. 1823, they built a log building and started sawing wood. People started locating near the mill, near the road, and once they got a small community, all the people come in as a group and they said, hey, we got lots of wood, we need something to eat, flour, cornmeal, some more of that good whiskey. So the miller rig rigged, rigged the mill, started making flour, cornmeal, feed, whiskey on one side. Kept sawing wood on the other, had to be interesting flour. They moved 25 feet downstream, built this building, 1869, grand reopening January 1st, 1870. It's absolutely amazing that this is still here, still privately owned, and that we have it. <laughs> That's even the most amazing part. in the best grains from all over. Today we have white corn and we have cornbread mixes. We also have blue corn, which is Hopi Indians originally. We have several different kinds of pancake mixes now. Home style, seven grain. We have a, a, a buttermilk. We actually have a purple cornmeal, purple cornbread mix, and purple grits. I believe we're the only place in the world you can get purple grits. This whole grain natural food thing hit the market and boom, I said, oh, thank you. We just happened to be in the right place at the right time. I just, boom, just took off. Today, we're doing around 40,000 pounds a year and that's a limit, I'm not doing any more than that. The building's too old, I'm too old. 
still make it the same way it was made back in the 1830s. It's a fresh, natural food. I've had people say, wow, what's that wonderful flavor? I said, it's wheat. I believe it's a very special place. It's been in operation since the um, 1820s. It's family owned and still is. Not the same family though, you know, we're, we're the 14th owners. Uh, you have a cover bridge with a waterfall under it, old mill on the hill. You can read about history, you can you watch it, but, but here you can actually visit it. And free admission. <laughs>